Ladies and gentlemen, we're Anoka County Vietnam Veterans. We'll be doing the part of the service which uh, recognizes and honors Bill's service to country. Without people willing to wear the uniform and serve, not a single one of us would be here today enjoying the freedoms which we're lucky enough to have in the freest country in the world. Our government has said that as a reward for your honorable service, someday when you pass on, they will provide full honors. They've been unable to do that, so it's been us veterans serving as volunteers who have been providing these honors for our fellow veterans. Most of the veterans we do honors for, we don't know hardly anything about, but there is one thing that we do know, and that's that the veterans we do honors for, they have, like us, served honorably. And it's that honorable service to country that makes us a brotherhood. The uh, helmet, rifle, and boots are always symbolic of the service man or woman who once was and no longer is. You've all heard about a 21 gun salute. The media talks about that a lot. And they make it seem as if every soldier or veteran receives a 21 gun salute. And the truth is that none of them do. You see, they don't understand that when you go into the military, you are taught that your rifle is not a gun. A gun to the military is a cannon, an artillery piece. And you do not call your rifle a gun. And if you insist on forgetting that, they have ways of making sure that you uh, won't repeat that mistake. So the only person entitled to a 21 gun salute is the president. And you most likely see that when a president dies. The last president who died was Gerald Ford and they had the cannons booming 21 times. That's a 21 gun salute. What Bill will receive will be the time honored three rifle volleys. The rifle volleys have been around for hundreds of years as a way of showing respect for our veterans. And uh, when we do the rifle volleys today, we are showing respect for Bill's military service and we are saluting him from veterans to a fellow veteran with the time-honored three rifle volleys. After the rifle volleys, taps will be played. Taps was first played in 1862 during our tragic Civil War over the graves of our slain Union soldiers. Since that time, Taps has been played hundreds of thousands of times at the funerals of servicemen and women who have died uh, for our country in a war or veterans who are being laid to rest. Taps is a final veteran's farewell tune. This veteran has already reported to the Commander-in-Chief to whom each and every one of us will have to report, and he has now received his final duty station assignment. When I get back to ranks, we'll fire the rifle volleys. I noticed uh, you have a young child. Uh, I hate to see her cry. Uh, you might want to cover her ears so she's not startled. After the rifle volleys, taps will be played it is considered a sign of respect that if any of you are veterans, you may hand salute while TAPS is being played. And if you're not a veteran, you may place your right hand over your heart. Our condolences on your loss. Honor Guard, in memory of Bill Erdrich, in his service in the United States Army. Prepare to fire three volleys of musketry. Camp Jen, port arms, unlock rifles, ready. Hey, fire, ready, fire, ready, fire, port arms, lock rifles, Bugler, take your pulse. Honor Guard, 
present on Ladies and gentlemen, an American burial flag is always folded into a triangle for a very specific reason. This is to remind us of the freedoms that were won for us in our Revolutionary War. Uh, many of the soldiers then wore a three-cornered hat and thus the flag into a triangle. The tremendous sacrifices they made to win our freedoms, but this flag also reminds us of the many people who came along later, whether in wartime or peacetime, who served our country and by their service helped to ensure that those first freedoms won are still with us yet today. On behalf of the President of the United States, this flag is presented to you from a grateful nation for what your loved one has most honorably served our country. And uh, there are two children? Two three. Three, okay. I do have uh, a packet for the children. Uh, Okay. I'll give this to you, I'll read it. In honored memory of William Erdrich, the many freedoms Americans have were not given to us, they were won for us. Since then, our freedoms have been protected by those who have served in our armed forces. Bill has served our great nation most honorably as a soldier in the United States Army. His faithful service for our country makes him an unsung, but true American hero, America is grateful. And again, our condolences. Honor Guard, present arms. Order arms. In memory of this departed veteran, let us observe a brief moment of silence. Court arms, reverse arms, arms, order arms. Uh, this concludes our service, ladies and gentlemen. We will collect the uh, empty cartridges and present them to family if you wish. Once again, our condolences on your loss.